so working on the uh, project here for my uh, quick attach for my PC35 working on the lathe here I figured I'd take a little bit of a shot here what I'm doing so punching these out a little bit Dial this in. That's close enough. Taking uh, 75 per side off. Seems to be working pretty good. 150 at a time. I had punch these out with the uh, drill bit to one inch, and now I got to get them to a one and a little over three eighths. This is uh, my homemade boring bar. I can't stress enough how happy I am with it for just a stupid piece of hot roll that I milled up to take a little triangle insert. It works really, really well. Especially in this material, whatever it is. Anyway, this is boring, literally. Okay, working on the uh, Quick Connect project for this thing here. I've been uh, slowly picking away at this here and there, a couple hours a day as I have time. Uh, I've got all my uh, ears all knocked out here. Cut out, milled out, drilled out, cut out, ground out. I also have uh, these lugs here. Where's number four that went disappearing on me? Here we go. Here's the other one there. So, uh, knock these out on the lathe. Got them all punched out. Those drop in there. Get pressed in on the press over there. And they end up like this. So, this is the first set here. And I'm just getting set to TIG these in here. Weld them in. The tricky part is alignment. Because you got to get these things like dead straight. So that they the bores align, proper, align properly. And then when you weld the pieces together... Uh, with whatever little spreader you've got in there everything has to line up perfect so I did get these two basically I just clamped them together back to back uh, with the lugs in there and then put uh, put a piece of bar through there to make sure that everything was straight and tapped it around till it turned more or less freely I may have to go back in here after the fact and uh, just Maybe send the boring head through there real quick just to touch them up a hair. But I'll, uh, I'll see how it all turns out. And uh, I'll make sure that they, uh, they go right before I weld things up uh, with the spreader there. So I think we're, uh, we're about ready to go. Well, that didn't take long. I managed to screw it up already. Somehow something shifted on me. I got a gap under there, which means this thing is not sitting in straight. It's like cockeyed like that. So, bust out the little tools and see if I can grind out my little weld there. All right, get to work, dumbass. Okay, after spending a bunch of time at tedious grinding, um, it worked really well when I had the uh, small diameter wheel here that was kind of worn down, but as soon as that kind of wore out and I had to go to the bigger wheel, it didn't fit in the hole in the groove there without destroying the edge. So, path of least resistance. I am making quick coupler for, uh, for the mini hoe, and then I'm also making, i got another pair of these over here, for a uh, twist wrist kind of attachment. Risto twist, is that what they call them? Anyway, uh, tilt bucket adapter kind of deal. So, switching plans. This one's gonna be the tilt adapter. Uh, being out a little bit there doesn't matter as much because there's no, um, no shaft going through that one. And one of my lugs for the twist adapter happens to be slightly undersized as opposed to uh, bored out larger than this diameter. So basically I've got one spare. So that was my one free screw up. I just got to go uh, tighten up that bore a little bit, get a little closer to spec. And then 
I should be able to do Mark II with this pair here. So let's uh, let's try that instead. <laughs> 